right. And we are talking with Jeff from Keystone today. Jeff, what is your position in Keystone? Yeah, I'm the uh, product manager for our Arcadia brand. All right, awesome. Tell us what we're looking at. Yeah, so today we are in the Arcadia 377 travel trailer. Um, this is a new version of an award-winning floor plan. Uh, we, we took our 370, which won numerous industry awards, uh, up on its launch, and we extended it just a few inches more to do a couple other things that customers were asking for. Uh, really, seven inches in this case was uh, offered us the opportunity to, to do giant improvements to the floor plan in a couple of various areas. So it's pretty exciting when you have a floor plan that wins industry awards and you look at it and say, hey, we can do it even better. Right. Yeah. And that's kind of what the 377 has turned out to be. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, let's start the tour. Yeah. So with all of our Arcadias, obviously one of the things that people see when they come in is the white decor. Um, the white decor is, needless to say, what you see everywhere in new residential construction. If you get on HGTV or Instagram or uh, the most popular YouTube videos uh, that we're shooting right now, this is the decor that people are looking for. Um, and our design team killed it because we've given the customer what they want with the white decor, but they found ways to give it just a little bit of pop and a little bit of color. It doesn't look as sterile as maybe some of the other units that are out there. So when you start looking at the, the white combined with the natural maple and what we've done with the flooring, the dinette table, mm -hmm. the fabrics, there's some other color uh, colors going on in here that really makes this feel very cozy. Uh, and the decor, to me, is one of the things when people walk in, uh, kind of sets us apart right away and gives us a huge advantage. Um, one of the things with the decor, uh, or the white cabinets, all of our cabinets are all wood construction. There's no particle board or MDF. <laughs> all of our cabinets are actually painted. They're not stained. They're painted with a semi-gloss paint. When you do that, it makes them a lot easier to clean. That's what you would do in your house. Uh, notice that all the cabinets have uh, hidden hinges on them to give that very clean, straight line residential look that we're going for. All of our cabinet doors have adjustable hinges on them. Uh, as you know, over time, RVs need a little adjustment here and there, and having the ability to easily adjust your cabinet doors with our hinges is a huge feature. <laughs> as you look, uh, down this slide room, you're going to see we're standard with an 8 cubic foot gas electric RV refrigerator. We're standard with a 30 inch OTR range, kind of a motorhome style range. One of the things that I like to talk about is not only is it really large, but we've lowered it 7 inches um, uh, compared to how you would typically find it mounted in a slide out. The reason that we lowered it just to make it easier for a lot of our shorter customers to get stuff in and out. Yeah. You can get in there and stir, check to see if things are cooked and all of that. So it's just a convenience function. It's always kind of been amazing to me when you get into an RV. Some of the things are, are so up in the air, it's really hard to get to. But right. that's a really nice feature. But on top of that, then it creates an extra room for us to put a wine rack. Mm -hmm. uh, personally, I'm a vodka guy. Uh, can I say that on, on <laughs> Yep. Okay. Personally, I'm a vodka guy, uh, but vodka, wine, whatever. Uh, what we're trying to do with Arcadia is create storage and utilize storage. Uh, and that's just another example of what we're doing. Here, pull out spice rack. Oh. So this was a little area that we decided to uh, put a little spice rack in there, uh, condiments and things of that nature. Drawers, we talk about storage all the time. So there's five drawers right there, there's two drawers down there, there's two drawers here in the island, there's two drawers over here. So we're gonna find with all of our floor plans, there's an abundance of drawers. <laughs> On the island, you're seeing solid surface countertops, a very residential high-end solid surface countertop, uh, high arching faucet, so again, very residential, convenient, nice looking. This is a feature that is kind of unique and we think is really awesome, butcher block sink cover. Mm -hmm. uh, not only is it a great sink cover, but a lot of our customers tell us that they'll take this and they'll use it as a serving tray. Load up your food from your pantry, condiments, cheeses, whatever, haul it out to the picnic table. Uh, if you drop it, who cares? It's easy to clean and all of that. 
So the uh, butcher block sink cover is a nice feature. The farmhouse dial kitchen sink, very deep bowl, all stainless steel construction. It's massive. <clears throat> Over here on the other side, we were uh, talking about this a few minutes ago. This is a slick little feature. This butcher block workstation folds up and folds down. Uh, we have 110 and USBs there, so you can easily use it for a workstation. The reality is a lot of people might use it for a serving hutch, you know, or just storage or whatever. And again, in an RV, you never have enough storage. Uh, so trying to create and utilize the storage is, is a big deal. It's uh, really easy. You just grab these two uh, little latches underneath here, unlatch them, it folds down, just lift it up, and there you go. Back over here in the slide room, our pantry is huge. Again, we're in a travel trailer, so a lot of times in the travel trailer, you start seeing small little cabinets and things like that. You don't get a lot of storage. This is the same slide out that we have on our fifth wheel, so mm -hmm. a very wide, tall um, pantry door. If you're curious, this is actually a chalkboard. So you oh, can okay. make notes to yourself to remind you to do whatever. Uh, you got pull-out drawers in the bottom. You got adjustable shelves on the top. You have a, what we call an appliance garage. Again, you can never have enough counter space. Yeah. So additional counter space in here with a recept. Mm -hmm. Notice there on the recept, and I know you guys are, are doing a video later this week on Solar Flex, but that is one of our inverted outlets in our Solar Flex 200. So if the customer decides to go off the grid and use a 12 volt only, that's one of our inverted outlets mm -hmm. on this floor plan. All right. <clears throat> Over here in our entertainment center, you got a flat screen TV, you've got a flush mount fireplace. One of the things that's nice about the fireplace is it has a 5100 BTU heating element on it. All of your Arcadias have a 35,000 BTU furnace, even on our travel trailers. Yep. So that combined with this, you've got over 40,000 BTUs of heat going on. A um, lot of our customers are full-time extended stay type customers. Uh, and having the ability to use this in colder weather is a significant feature for them. Fair so much. we're giving them a lot of heat. Uh, in this case, you know, more than a lot of our competition. One of the things that is always fun to show customers uh -huh. is our lift up TV. Mm. Uh, whenever the floor plan is in the slide room like this, it allows us to do this and just gives you again extra storage. Uh, there's tons of things that you can put in there and customers really like it. It's got a little bungee cord here that once it's shut, you can latch it for transit. Back here in the back, again, big windows are one of the things that we talk about all the time. Uh, yeah, the unit is airy and light because of the cabinets, but it's also in part because we use giant windows. If you look around, you can see all of our windows are really oversized. Uh, the windows are all adorned with what we call Roman shades. We think the Roman shades are just an awesome feature. I, I predict in the future, you're going to see this is almost a standard feature on a lot of RVs. Uh, they're very residential looking. Uh, they do a great job of keeping the daylight out. They do a great job of keeping the heat out. Um, the mechanism is all wrapped in fabric. So when you're walking around and they're vibrating against the window, they don't rattle right. like you know, day night shades and, and pool shades and things like that. We have one of the largest sofas in the industry. This is actually a trifold sofa. Not only is it super large, so you can relax and get a lot of people on there, or you and I can lay down and take a nap. Um, <laughs> once it folds out into a bed, it folds out into a really large bed. So that's a nice feature as well. Um, we've recently added struts to all of our cabinet doors that are hinged at the top. So that's a nice little upgrade. Over here, our furniture. This is a uh, theater seat. Theater seat is power heat power massage. There's a light on the bottom of it, little storage area right here, and then a charging tray for your phone up at the top. In the arm you got a couple of USB connections, which is nice. <laughs> Notice in the slide out there's no carpet. Right. Yeah, one of the coolest features about our product is you're not going to find carpet anywhere inside it. So now with uh, removing the carpet the Leno is easy to clean. It's we say it's pet friendly. There's no allergens. Gets rid of a lot of the formaldehyde that would yeah. be in the unit. Mm -hmm. Now you don't have to uh, carry around the vacuum cleaner. A simple broom is all you need uh, to carry around to keep your Arcadia clean. 
Another thing that's really cool, all of our uh, travel trailers, our 377 that we're in here, have seven foot sidewalls. Uh, I'm a pretty tall guy. You can see all of the headroom that I have. So not only does that give you a lot of headroom, a lot of livability, all your cabinets start to get much taller. Mm -hmm. Most importantly though, our slide outs get taller. Uh, these are exactly the same slide outs that we use in our fifth wheel. Kind of blows people away yeah. when I say that. But you can see how long they are, how tall they are, and it's all being driven by our seven foot sidewalls uh, that we use. Um, for most people, getting in and out of the slide outs is now going to be something that's easy and convenient and comfortable, uh, not hitting your head right. like sometimes I do. Just for reference, Jeff, how tall are you? I'm about 6'4". Okay. Used to be a little bit taller, but I'm getting older. <laughs> You're the second one to tell us that today, so... <laughs> I'll be a lot older after show season. <laughs> I, I, I get younger over the summer. <laughs> um, so when you go into the bathroom here, you've got a large shower, uh, sliding glass doors. Love the little uh, linen cabinet area. So we snuck some storage into your bedroom cabinet in there. Uh, if you want to utilize it from this side, you can put towels and things like that over there. Um, again, just trying to give the customer a little bit more flexibility. Uh, porcelain toilet, it's a high-rise toilet. Obviously porcelain won't stain, it's easy to clean. The high-rise is a nice function for some of our customers. Beautiful vanity area. All right. Wow. So when you come in here, this has got a lot going on. Remember I told you that the 370 was an award-winning travel trailer? Well, this is the 377. And most of the changes have happened in this area. Uh, the, the biggest change is up here. We actually lengthened this area seven inches. We gave the uh, pass-through storage a lot more width. Uh, and we really changed what we're doing in here. When you look at our front wardrobe, there's so many things going on there. There's a ton of depth. Uh, we added the shoe storage on the sides because that is an area that's harder to get to. Added a couple more drawers there. So that whole area has just completely been redone and we're really excited about that. Yeah. Then behind me, this was another request that we got from our customers for washer dryer prep on this floor plan. Nice. Um, again, what is happening with this floor plan a lot is people are full-timing, working remotely, uh, just living in it. So having washer-dryer prep was something that we were getting a lot of demand for, so we added the washer-dryer prep on this floor plan. Right. Um, obviously, we have a bed slide here. Mm -hmm. um, one of the cool things about all Arcadias is that all of our mattresses are made by Serta. Of course, it's not on there when I look at this. Where, where is it? <laughs> All right, so they didn't put the CERTA label on here, so that's a complete discouragement. Oh, here, well. edit that part out. <laughs> um, so, so all of our beds are, are made uh, CERTA branded. It's all memory foam mattress. Mm -hmm. All of our beds are residential size. So this is what we call a California king. Mm -hmm. It's 72 inches wide, 84 inches long. Yeah. Again, being a little bit of a taller guy, that extra four to six inches in length is a really nice feature for me. I often hear that a lot of people like the fact that now I can get sheets online uh, because it's a true residential size. Over the years, and I've done this a long time, that's one of the things that you hear RV customers talk about a lot is I can't find sheets for my RV bed. So we use all residential sizes, makes it a lot easier for you. Uh, underneath the bed here, we've got two giant pull-out drawers. Then on the back side of this slide out, we've got uh, storage that you can access on the outside. All right. So this does not need to fold up when in travel mode then, correct? This this just comes in? Oh yeah, as far it just as... comes right in. Okay. Yeah, there's not, no special no, fold-up type thing. Okay, nope. all right. Then down here we've got a little additional storage in here. And again, just a big giant oversized window up here. Um, Appliance-wise, kind of with all of uh, 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 our units, all of our units, we put two air conditioners in. Uh, so we're standard with the 15. This is an optional air, but we almost always install the optional air. Uh, so you're getting a second air conditioner on here 
it is a 13.5. All of our air conditioners are ducted together, so you're getting the benefit of 28,000 BTUs up in the ductwork. Um, also, we've introduced recently a new product called Blade Pure. I don't know if that's something that our marketing folks have talked to you about, but with Blade Pure, it's an enhancement on our blade system that we've been using at Keystone for a long time. Blade delivers 20% more air to our customers via the upgraded ductwork that we use. We've proven that uh, for a number of years. Blade Pure is an enhancement where we're using a new Q-Series uh, mock air conditioner uh, from Coleman. The Q-Series is significantly quieter, a little more higher performance. Uh, then also inside there, you can see there's these two little screws. Turn those screws and pull that down and inside there is a new 12 by 12 residential air filter. So with Blade Pure, we're creating more air with the air conditioner it's quieter, it's cleaner, we deliver 20% more to the customer via our duct, duct work. So let's face it, we're down in Florida, today it's not that hot, but you get down here in the summertime or any of, uh, well, anywhere in the summertime, yeah. uh, having 20% more airflow and a air conditioner that's quieter uh, and delivering more air is a significant upgrade. Absolutely. Want to head outside? Ah, sure. Where what, do you have any questions in here? I think you're covered I, pretty much all yeah, of it. That, yeah. My, my 20 minutes is already up. Uh, <laughs> no, actually, hey. no, you're good. All right. So what is, so, you know, it's easy to forget that this is a travel trailer yeah, and not like a, fifth a fifth wheel. wheel. Yeah, so, all right. Show us what makes this so unique for, for a travel trailer. Well, a lot of it was just in there. Mm -hmm. um, so it does have very much a fifth wheel feel and livability and storage. Um, when you come out here though, there's a lot of, again, fifth wheel type upgrades that a lot of times you're not seeing on travel trailers. Uh, so even this, you look at, we've got a uh, swing out step, but it's a four step uh, right. rather than a three step. We made it super wide. Uh, when you go to a four step, the first step is lower to the ground. The other mm -hmm. steps are closer to each other. <clears throat> we added this extra segment up here on our top step so it's much deeper, making it easier to get in and out. Um, the guardrails on here, so if you have too many uh, drinks out at the uh, campground or at the <laughs> campfire, we want to make sure that you don't slip off the edge of the step. Uh, the adjustable spring-loaded pull pins are really nice. Mm -hmm. For a lot of our uh, potential customers, what they may have had in the uh, past are these pull pins that you, once you pull them out, you can't get them back in. Mm -hmm. The spring-loaded pins are a really nice upgraded feature. Our door's 30 inches wide, it's super tall, so it makes it easy to get in and out, swing out grab handle, convenient little feature there, uh, pop bottle opener. <laughs> Key TV for cable and satellite. Outside recept. This is another example of one of our inverted outlets. Ooh. Notice that we have auto leveling. Again, a fifth wheel type yeah. feature. Auto leveling is standard on all of our. And we cages. do not see that very often on travel trailers. You do not, for sure. Uh, pass through storage. Again, this is an area that we made a little bit of a change on. Uh, pass through storage. Then over on the other side, when we get around there. I'll show you what that box is. That is for our Solar Flex 200 prep. It's massive. It really opens up that massive. That yeah, massive. it does. So we're going to have to walk around a little bit here to get there. Fiberglass cap. That is a gorgeous front on that. Yeah, thank you. So as that comes... Yeah, all of that is standard. Um, with Arcadia, there are only a couple of options. Uh, you, you have an optional solar package uh, that the Solar Flex 200 can be upgraded to Solar Flex 400, uh -huh. or you can get the second air conditioner option, which that this unit has that. So those are the only options that we have, so we make it really simple for, awesome. for our customers. Ooh. Awesome. Let's go take a look over there. All right. So we're here on the uh, off-door side of the 377 and one of the things I wanted to show you was the uh, additional components on our Solar Flex 200. Again, I know that you're going to do a video later, but on this particular floor plan, this is our uh, solar charge controller, uh, 15 amp charge controller that comes standard on the Solar Flex 200. 
and then inverter prep. We've talked about the inverted outlets a couple times. So if the customer aftermarket wants to utilize those uh, uh, off the grid, right there is the wiring to install an aftermarket inverter. Um, so easy, convenient, just right there uh, for the customer. Underneath the slide out is a um, uh, additional storage. Remember on the inside, we showed you the big drawers on the one side, on the outside, the rest of the storage can be accessed through that baggage door. Your 10 amp solar, um, uh, Zamp solar sidewall port is right there. You know, I have to say something. Yeah. These jacks are massive. <laughs> <laughs> they are big. <laughs> well, and it's an in, it's interesting that you comment as an experienced RVer. Obviously, you've seen traditionally what is out there. So yeah, they are big. They're oversized, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, heavy duty. I mean, at the end of the day, we want the customer to have a great experience. Mm -hmm. And there's really nothing on Arcadia when you walk around it. I mean, everything is kind of heavy duty, right. durable, yeah. overbuilt. Uh, there's a couple other things that we're going to talk about in a second to sort of just stamp the, the thinking there. Yeah. But the jacks are just part of it, absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> so one of the things that's a little bit unique, again, on travel trailers is the convenience center. This is the same type of convenience center that we use on our fifth wheels. Uh, we're trying to make it where everything is all enclosed in one area. A uh, couple things that are, are unique here. You can see if I move this out of the way that all of our pull handles for our dump valves are all located in here. Nice. So now you're not crawling underneath the trailer to use them. They're not getting all gunked up with mud and what have you. Uh, we have a power tank fill. Uh, so not only when you make your connection here, are you doing city water, but you can also fill up your fresh water tanks with the same connection. An experienced RVer knows that it takes like three days to <laughs> fill up a fresh water tank. <laughs> Uh, and we have a big fresh water tank. It's a 54 gallon Ooh. fresh water tank. Um, with the power tank fill, it'll do it a lot faster. Yeah. So experienced RVers know that that's a cool feature. Now, it feels like maybe you'd want to winterize today. I realize down here, maybe <laughs> that doesn't always resonate with every customer in Florida, but winterization is something that's a big deal for cus most customers right. uh, out there. And what I really love about this is all of our winterization can actually be done right here. Put a jug of antifreeze down on the ground, uh, take a hose, connect it to the winterization inlet, put it the other end in the, the antifreeze. You can turn your water heater bypass on right there uh, and turn your water pump on. And all of it is done right here. You don't have to go inside. You don't have to dig around for water heater bypass. You don't have to dig around for a water pump uh winterization and like you're not dragging your antifreeze inside super convenient that it's all done right here yeah and in reverse it makes it that much easier to dewinterize yep so uh, on top of that is our water heater very unique for a travel trailer it's a 12 gallon water heater uh, a lot of our competition is going to use a six maybe a couple of them out there using a 10. Yep. we're giving you the biggest water heater in the industry at 12. it's gas and electric so Again, you know, kind of what the benefits there are of having dual sourcing and all of that. What brand are you using at this point? Uh, this is a Suburban water okay. heater. All right. Um, suburban furnace also, we talked a little bit about that on the inside, 35,000 BTU furnace. Uh, down here on our suspension system. This is a feature, you know, I, I, I told you that I, I recognize that, that not every customer loves constructions and nuts and bolts and things like that. I'm super nerdy and I get really excited about this. But to me, and I've done this a long time, there's one of the things, if, if it ever happens to an RV customer that you get broken down on the side of the road because of tires or axles or something, mm -hmm. I mean, that's a big deal. Um, and a lot of customers don't think that it'll happen to them, but we all know that Trust me, it does. Yeah, it yes. does. Um, so that's why I kind of get excited about what we've got with our Kurt Performance Package. The reality is we partnered with Kurt on this uh, uh, suspension system and all of the components under there are upgraded. If there's anything that, that I tell customers for them to remember, is that our suspension components have a six year warranty on them. Oh. The longest warranty in the industry. But there's all of the details that go into it. It's thicker axle tubes, upgraded uh, hubs, um, half inch shackle legs, greasable wet bolts, bush, uh, 
metal bushings are under there. Uh, all of our tires and wheels have a six year warranty on them as well. It's a 100% uh, replacement for a manufacturer defect. It's not prorated. We have a one year no questions asked warranty on the tires. So what that means is you're driving down the road, you run over a nail, you run over a screw, you run over pothole, curb, alligator, uh, underinflated, overinflated, it doesn't matter. For one year, if you have a blowout, the manufacturer is going to replace your tire. Uh, there's a two year, 24 hour roadside assistance program. So if you have a blowout, call the number and they'll send somebody out and change the tire for you. Uh, nitrogen filled tires. So again, there's a lot of cool features going on this to try to make sure that the customer has a great experience. Awesome. Couple things back here, again, just trying to create storage and utilize storage. Mm -hmm. um, again, with our customers who are extended stay full time, the pegboard is a nice little feature. Mm -hmm. Not everybody's going to use that, but if you're parked in a campground for a little while, mm -hmm. having the ability to organize your storage is something that a lot of customers yeah. like. Great right the storage. So one of the things that we'll point out here is a two inch receiver hitch. Um, nice feature. Obviously you can put a big bike rack on there for four bikes or a large storage tray. A lot of our competitors, if they have an accessory hitch, you're going to have an inch, inch and a half one that's got basically half the capacity. So two inch receiver hitch is really nice. As we're back here, I always do this and I walk over here and do this. Uh, all of our products are aluminum frame, laminated construction on every wall. Uh, no hung fiberglass here, getting really the best type of construction, uh, fully insulated, just a really well-built type coach. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's walk around to the front. There's another thing I want to show you real quick. All right. Um, so again, one of the things that we're really excited about is yeah, you've got all of these features that you can see, touch and feel, mm -hmm. uh, but with Arcadia, what you can't see is really unbelievable, um, both from an engineering and a new product standpoint. Uh, a lot of the, the design, design that has went into the chassis and the structure is really um, kind of setting a new standard in our industry. Uh, one of the things that we always talk about, and this is not a new feature, but it's a significant feature mm -hmm. on Arcadia is our laminated floor. Okay. So a lot of customers are using an aluminum frame laminated construction on the floor, and that's what we do as well. But we take it a step further, uh, and we have what's called hyperdeck. So as you can see here, there's no wood substrate on either the, anywhere in this thing. Mm -hmm. So we've got layers of polypropylene and fiberglass type components. Bottom line is our entire floor is lightweight, super strong, but it's 100% moisture resistant. There's nothing in the floor that's ever going to warp, rot, deteriorate, mold, mildew. So you're getting a floor that's really unique to the industry and uh, has a ton of just awesome long-term benefits. Cool. Um, our chassis is completely new to the industry. Um, what we did with our engineers uh, is really kind of groundbreaking. The whole thing is patented. It's what mm -hmm. we call the crawl space chassis. If you get on to, uh, to the Keystone website, there's a ton of information and videos on it. But essentially with the crawl space chassis, what we've done is we've lowered the cross members three inches and then in that section that's lowered in between the i-beams we created a crawl space just kind of like what you have in your house and basically it's solid foam insulation sort of similar to what this is on three sides uh -huh. but then what we've done in this crawl space is where we put your heat duct and it's a residential style heat duct like you have in your house yep. we put all of your water lines your drain lines a lot of the critical wiring is all located in the crawl space so when you turn your furnace on that entire area is now insulated and heated. It'll keep your water lines from freezing up. For our customers who are looking at using this thing full time uh, in the colder weather, there's nothing out there that's going to give you as many features and as much protection as what we're giving you with Arcadia. And the crawl space is sort of the big difference maker in its ability to perform in the cold weather. Uh, all of our holding tanks underneath are in a heated chamber in the basement. And all of our holding tanks also have 12 volt heat pads on nice. them. Uh, getting double insulation in the roof, reflective foil insulation in the roof. So it's gonna perform really great in the, the, the summertime, uh, but whether you're summer, winter, all year round, you're gonna get great performance with an Arcadia. Beautiful.
So the crawl space too then is going to keep all of that those components protected then from road debris, correct? Well, no. The no. crawl space is sort of above the basement area. What's going to protect your components from the road debris is the enclosed underbelly. Gotcha. Okay. So it's still got an enclosed underbelly. Um, and then on top of that enclosed underbelly, we're going to put a layer of reflective foil insulation. Oh, so I that's see. That's kind of what we okay. call the basement area. The basement area is where your cross members and your holding tanks and all of those things are. So that area is enclosed and heated and it protects everything. Mm -hmm. That whole area though is actually under the crawl space. So what's super cool about this is if you look at a cross section of our floor, you have two heated chambers down there and actually three layers of insulation. Wow. So you got a basement that's enclosed, insulated, and heated. Mm -hmm. On top of that, you've got your crawl space that's enclosed, insulated, and heated. And then on top of that, you've got your hyperdeck floor, which is your third layer of insulation. Okay. They use the same type of insulation in the sidewalls? Yes, the exact same type of insulation. The only difference is uh, on our sidewalls, we don't use the composite uh, on the sidewalls. Okay. Uh, obviously, our wallboard on the inside is just different. So you've got a decorative uh, wallboard on the inside. So this part is the same. These parts are different. You got fiberglass and such on the outside. Right. So that is a little different. Overall, the concept though is the same. It's an aluminum frame laminated construction, uh, solid foam insulation. Uh, it's two inches thick. So it's a great insulator, great sound deadener. Solid foam insulation is never going to settle in your sidewall. Uh, by far the best type of construction going. So if somebody wanted to learn more in depth about how these are constructed, where can they go to find that information? Well, you can find a lot of that information at our website, uh, the Arcadia uh, pages at Keystone. Um, that's the, the best source. But, you know, Christy and our marketing team have done a great job on YouTube. So if you go to the Keystone RV YouTube page, uh, you'll find that literally hundreds of videos there and many of them are getting into construction type things. Uh, I mean, one of the things that Keystone embraces is showing the customer what different, you know, high quality construction and high quality components can make. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a reason that we've been successful for, you know, uh, several decades now. Um, and a lot of it is we choose to not cut corners and uh, we're proud of the things we're doing construction wise. Awesome. Beautiful. Awesome. Beautiful. All right. Well, is there anything else you want to add? Seriously, after all this, you want to <laughs> I think I've covered it all. <laughs> if somebody asked you one reason why, and again, it's not because you're an employee, but one reason why you would buy Keystone, what would it be? Um, well, here, this is super easy. It's kind of an interesting question. So I've done this for a long time. I was at Keystone, I don't want to say at the ground floor, but you know, back in the 90s, early on, mm -hmm. uh, and I was at Keystone for a number of years. and went through a variety of different positions and, and was kind of on the uh, upper management team and then went off on my own for uh, 10 years and worked for another company, started a whole nother division. And then uh, a couple years ago, I went through some health issues and kind of had to get out of the industry for a couple years. Doctor told me I needed to slow down. Uh, so when he told me that, I'm like, well, what am I gonna do next? Mm -hmm. And it became super easy for me mm -hmm. to come back to Keystone. Um, because a little bit of what we just said a second ago that mm -hmm. you know there's a real commitment to to doing it the right way and building it the right way and the quality but I just know from a culture and from a, a people standpoint mm -hmm. Keystone is going to do the right thing they're going to try to do the right thing people that care about the industry um, it was easy to come back because no matter what everybody else is going to say when they're talking about their company, I just know from 30 years, this is a company that does it and believes it. And we're not perfect, but we're gonna try really hard to make it right. And it was easy for me to say, hey, if you're gonna do this, this is where you need to come back. So, awesome, awesome. That's what I'd say. Beautiful. Well, thank you, Jeff, very Welcome much for your much. time. Yeah, enjoyed it, thank you. If there's right. anything else, come on back. I'd love to talk some more. All right, okay. awesome, thank you. All right.